can go out into the rain. Do not miss the opportunity. <laughs> You and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So, I guess my question would be, why? Why, would, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter? What this lady is saying doesn't make any sense. I really don't know why people are watching this. People are just wasting their time watching this. A loss of TikTok time. Please, stop watching people like this. When you see somebody dancing in the rain, black, white, pink or green, it does not matter who they are. Everybody can dance in the rain. Old, young or even toddlers can dance in the rain. The only time they will not dance in the rain is when there's a thunder or lightning. People are scared of that. So please, your statement sounds like thunder and lightning. So stop talking like that. People, please, nobody's offended by this. Only the person that is speaking in an offensive way. Drew Barrymore, enjoy dancing in the rain. Everyone, enjoy dancing in the rain. <laughs> you and I both know. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. So, Drew Barrymore... Hollywood darling and altogether lovely and wholesome human being that she is, posts a 17 second video of her laughing in the rain. And your objection to this is, what exactly? I had to rewatch your video 10 times in an attempt to understand what it is you were even saying. And I still don't know what you're trying to say. How miserable is your life? Like, are you okay? Because I would think that to watch that video and come away from it with anything other than a smile on your face must require such misery and depravity. What are you even mad about? What exactly are the boundaries that have apparently been set by black creators that she's breaking by dancing in the rain? And if at this point you haven't watched her video for context before continuing with this one, you should because that's exactly what she says. Drew Barrymore is not a controversial person. This video is in no way disrespecting anyone or anything. She did it because she felt like it. And no one is saying you don't matter. I don't know where you got that from. That you could watch a video of a woman frolicking in the rain and talking about enjoying the small things in life and fish some kind of heinous message out of it speaks to such a disingenuous moral character. If you're gonna get mad about things, get mad about things that actually fucking matter. It's not a problem for you to stand firm in what you believe. What I and others are confused about is what you believe in. Because I watched, you know, some of your stuff and I honestly have no idea what, what has you so upset. And for context, she stitched a video of Drew Barrymore enjoying a rain shower, taking her glasses off and laughing and saying, hey, any chance you get a, any time you get a chance to go out and enjoy the rain, do it. And well, I happen to agree with her. Hell, it happened to me last Saturday. And it wasn't exactly by choice, but I digress. I mean, from my untrained position, it sounds like you're creating an issue where none exists. I've never heard of anyone attempting to monopolize rain, especially for a specific ethnicity. Stop it. You know, I'm the last person to come on this app to openly criticize a black woman. However, I did some investigation and I think what the woman is talking about when she talks about boundaries and racism and cultural appropriation. No, it sounds ridiculous. I think there was a trend with black creators frolicking in the wilderness and nobody kicked up much of a fuss about it. And I think it was something that black creators were doing and that's that. Then Drew Barrymore frolicked in the rain and everybody 
kicked up a fuss about it. She's basically saying this was something for black creators as a means of f expressing freedom that the world doesn't allow them to express, I guess. Because everything they do in the world is like, you know, criticized or villainized or demonized. It's a stretch, personally. However, if we don't know what stage this person is at in their life that this has triggered them i personally wouldn't have been offended by it if i'm being honest honestly when i saw it i just thought all right that's a white woman frolicking in the rain oh wait that's true barrymore my reaction to stuff and just like everybody else it depends on where i'm at in my life so sometimes i see stuff like that and i'm like ugh, typical white woman and of course that's just me being but her and sometimes i'm like oh cute she's dancing in the rain it really just depends where i'm at and i will admit that and i do know that i do have a prejudice towards white women sometimes because of the history that i have with them i think this is what this person might also be experiencing this is just my observation i personally don't think it's really necessary but the person i'm stitching i just also want to say i know you lot are not gonna like this there are some nuances to the way that people would react to other people's behaviors and vice versa of course i don't think it's because she's hateful i think Oh, well, actually, maybe, who knows? I would just say for myself, there are some reasons why I would have a reaction sometimes and another time I would have a different reaction. And it's not because I'm hateful, it's because I uh, look at me. I am who I am in the world and I have my own specific view of things and I'm forced to see things a certain way in a way that you might not see it. Now, in this case, I don't think it's that deep, but it's not my place to say what's deep for somebody else. But this took a lot of... Oh, my brain is tired from trying to understand what she was saying i can't lie and i do personally think it's a bit of a stretch but you know each to their own i guess this woman is without question the biggest hater i've ever seen on this app why would, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter if you aspire to be a hater i need y'all to start taking notes all right let's check out what the fuck she's talking about whenever you can go out into the rain do not miss the opportunity i genuinely wish that i was joking here i'm not this is the video that she stitched drew barrymore outside enjoying the rain somehow in this woman's mind translated to why do y'all insist on hating black creators. This woman looked at someone else just having fun, just generally finding something to enjoy in the day and took that as a personal attack. No, but it's not enough for her to be offended. No, 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 she insists that everyone else is also offended, that everyone should be offended because she is. Ma'am, get help. So thank you for watching this channel. Subscribe to this channel, like this channel, Make your comment on the channel comment box and hit the notification bell for more notifications of new videos that are coming out. I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.